You were here, Justin, because you are a man who knows a good deal. I do, and Black Friday is coming up, which means this is the time when we celebrate having taken the country by force <laughs> and then getting really good deals on some cool electronics. The problem with Black Friday is that it is no longer Black Friday. It's more like two weeks of really good yeah. deals, and it's really, really hard to keep track of what, what's an actual good deal. Because it was Black Friday, and then Cyber Monday sort of spun that off a bit, and now everyone just does whatever they want. Well, Cyber Monday wants. came out, we have all these retailers who are online, but now everybody's online. Yeah, it's not like every, there's yeah. a physical retail store. Like, there are some things you can only get in physical retail, but everyone else is, like, it makes more sense to do this online. Everything's online. So first things first, obviously it's a massive part mm -hmm. of uh, holiday uh, purchasing. Um, I used to work in retail and like late November was when people started mm -hmm. looking at buying consoles. And, so and that's what I tell everybody to wait. Like right now is when you need to have put off getting your console. Yes, for sure. If, if you had not bought it back in the summer, like just wait for now because now you're not only getting the best deals, but the best bundles. Hmm. And and that's where I think Xbox is really doing well. So last month on the NPDs in the US, Xbox actually outsold the PS4 on hmm. the power of so many bundles. And they have a few more options available now, but you can get a $300 Xbox One or a $300 PS4 through almost every store on Black Friday because everybody is competing with one another to have that same price. So it's a deal you can get basically anywhere. And this is, if you've been putting off getting a PS4 or Xbox One, this is the time to do it. You not only get a $300 system, but you can get a really good game with it. So $300 for the Xbox One obviously means no Kinect. Is there, is there a game built in well, there as well? Why would you want to Kinect? It's like, oh no, we, I didn't get Kinect with this one? So you can one? trade it back in and buy, buy the Halo game. Uh, you know? And uh, it's nice to have the voice controls, but... Yeah, it's not there. Uh, so, do they come with, like, what bundles are in terms of, like, games? You know what games they get? I saw there was, like, a Tomb Raider one around. So, the, the big one for PlayStation is, of course, Uncharted. I think that might be the only one. With, uh, with Xbox, there's almost every game that you can get with that. There's a bundle for Tomb Raider. There's a bundle for Xbox. There's a bundle for... Xbox. Oh, there's a bundle for Tomb Raider. What did I say? Tomb, said, Tomb Raider uh, yeah. and uh, Gears of War. Gears okay. of, that is basically Xbox. The I think game. there's Assassin's Creed ones flying around maybe as mm -hmm. well, perhaps. I think the Assassin's Creed one, you can also get Unity for, for free. Great. They, they need to get rid of that Yeah, one. everyone needs a, needs a coaster. Uh, what about our good friend the Wii U? If you've already purchased mm -hmm. the PS4, you've got a sick PC, and you've got an Xbox One as well, uh, what is there for the, the fourth console for your living room? Well, this is the console that I think everyone else should still own. Like, Nintendo is a gr does a great job job at making the console that you own in addition to your primary gaming console. Yeah. And they do have a, a really good Black Friday deal going on. It's, it seems similar in price because it's $280 and you can get the other systems for $300, but you get two of the best games. Oh, what uh, games? They are Super Smash Brothers and Splatoon. Oh, okay. Uh, both relatively new as well. Yes, relatively new. Very, two of the best games on the system. The only one that it's missing that is an absolute must-buy is Super Mario Maker. Mm. There aren't a lot of good Black Friday deals on that one, but I think Target is having a Buy it for $60, get a $15 gift card. So, ostensibly, $15. And if you have the Gamers Club, which is actually a really good deal. I usually don't get into those, but yeah. it's like, Gamers Club is gives you a good discount on those games. Is that Best Buy? That is the Best Buy, Gamers okay. Club. Interesting. Last year, I bought myself a Wii U as like my sort of gift to me, mm -hmm. uh, and I had a blast with it. Uh, especially because there were so many really great games that were discounted by the time that I was picking it up. And, and on the secondhand stuff as well. And on the Nintendo side, there's also the 3DS. If for some reason you've been putting off for the longest time getting <laughs> yeah. the, the only handheld console remaining, there's going to be some decent Black Friday deals. I think you can get that for about $180. No bundles, but the new 3DS XL. Or, you know, if you're thinking about upgrading to the new, that's such a dumb name, new 3DS XL, yeah. the one with the, the <laughs> extra buttons on it. That, that's a good time to, to do that as well. Uh, do you have any eye into what Amazon are doing in terms of their stuff? Because they, they often do a lot of, like, competing. They see <laughs> the bundles that are right there in retail or online and other digital stores, and they try and reach some sort of parity there. So there's going to be all of those same deals you're going to be able to find on Amazon wow. as well. The thing that's going to be interesting for Amazon is they always kind of wait till the last minute to show what their lightning deals are going to be and what the yes. prices and what games specifically those are going to be. Those go so fast, it's really hard for even us to keep up with it because they're just constantly flowing through them, and there's so many. But that's you're basically going to have to wait till that weekend and Friday. And then Monday, like they just do it for such a long time. Yeah. Amazon's a good place to keep an eye on. I think that for more individual games that you want to pick up. Cool. And there's some really great uh, game deals. Until Dawn, like games that came out this year. Until Dawn for 20 bucks. It's just, oh, 20 bucks, really? 20 wow. bucks at, I want to say, Best Buy. Amazon Maybe has 30. it down to 30 since this morning, mm -hmm. so that's probably a reaction so, and to Amazon that. Amazon always reacts to that. They, yeah. they always drop their prices as well. Uh, Bloodborne is another one you can pick up for 20 bucks. Wow. It's like, Game of the Year contender. Game of the Year contender for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And so, some DLC to add to that, so you, 
you can pay a little bit more money as well. <laughs> so we don't talk about a lot of this stuff on video for the obvious reason that people want to click links and find out what's new. So for people mm -hmm. who want to click links and find out what's new, Justin, uh, where's the best place on GameSpot to see all this? So if you go to the way that we find everything also on GameSpot, because it's hard to find things in our search bar, just go, yeah. to, go to Google and type <laughs> in GameSpot best Black Friday deals. We have a constantly updated list of those. And if you guys have any deals that you want to share with us as well, you can drop those into the comments. We are looking for good deals to add into awesome. there. What are you going to pick up yourself? Uh, nothing. You I, own I, all the consoles, right? I, I own an Xbox One, PS4, yeah. and Wii U, and 3DS. And I've played almost all of the big games because I've had to keep up with them. Like, yeah. I'm going to be spending most of my Thanksgiving break trying to catch up on the games that I just haven't had a, try, a chance to. Well, our Game of the Year discussions are starting next week, so... Game of the Year discussions are technically starting now. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. I'm going to pick up Until Dawn because I feel like that's one of those mm -hmm. sleeper hits that I sort of haven't spent enough time with. I did some of the... Uh, the beta stuff or the preview stuff mm -hmm. before it came out. And $20 is a great price. Great price. Well, a great game. Steam is the other one. So it, we don't usually get as many good PC deals. Yeah. I mean, of course, Newegg is one of my favorite stores to go to for PC parts and architecture. For PC games, there's not as many good deals. Steam is is getting rid of their old model where they would have, uh, you know, every day they have a rotating sequence of deals. Mm -hmm. and you have daily deals. And it was kind of silly to keep track of them because there was only one deal that was good every day. And you would just have to wait for that deal. And they're yeah. completely completely eschewing that. What they're doing now is when they do their, their deal, when they're going to do their ho holiday, their autumn deal, it's going to be for the entire week, these are the prices. Okay. This is our lowest price. You don't have to wait for a deal to come up. So that, for if you want to get up a PC game, as soon as Steam releases all of their deals, that's a good Man, place to check out. Man, you get Clockwork Tales of Ink, uh, Glass and Ink for the, yeah, right there, 250 Pick it up while it's hot. Yeah, let's see the trailer. Those hot bangers and artifacts. Didn't see what the rest of that was. Bang. Man, I love steam. It's that fucking bird. Did you call them bangers? Isn't that like a sausage? Hot bangers? Yeah, hot sure. Bangers. That's a regional thing. The hot sausages. Games can be hot bangers too. Look at this. Look at these graphics. Like Fallout 4. It's dope. <laughs> Look at that. All those games and more. Highly positive. 316 reviews there. Came out two years ago, but it still got those hot next-gen graphics. Look at that girl. She's so happy. Also PC exclusive. PC exclusive, because who else would want it? <laughs> Clockwork Tales. The glass... Of glassing. Now nah, looks all right. There you go. P Steam. It's got it's a whole other thing going on. While we're all talking about Game of the Years, they've still got all this stuff. <laughs> crazy madness. Uh, Justin Haywell, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Telling me how to save some money. Uh, let me know, folks, in, in the comment box below, what do you think of the deals? Is there any console you haven't picked up yet? We're kind of deep into this console generation now, so surely you've already got your primary choice. Maybe you're looking at picking up a secondary one. What is it? Let us know in the comments below. Uh <laughs>